Dr. Lamoth reads Aesop's Fables for your social emotional learning. If you like this story, please like this video and click on the subscribe button now. Today, I'm going to read The Frogs Who Wished for a King, written by Aesop, with pictures by Myla Winter. This fable is part of our series on relationship skills. Relationship skills is all about knowing how to build healthy relationships with your family and friends. You will hear the following vocabulary words in this Aesop's fable. Condition, a good or bad quality of something. Declared, to firmly say something. Mournful, to be sad about something. Pomp, the expected behavior at a community event. The frogs who wished for a king. The frogs were tired of governing themselves. They had so much freedom that it had spoiled them. They did nothing but sit around croaking in a bored manner and wishing for a government that could entertain them with the pomp and display of royalty and rule them in a way that made them know they were being ruled. No milk and water government for them, they declared. So they sent a petition to Jupiter asking for a king. Jupiter saw what simple and foolish creatures they were. To keep them quiet and make them think they had a king, he threw down a huge log, which fell into the water with a great splash. The frogs hid themselves among the reeds and grasses, thinking the new king to be some fearful giant. But they soon discovered how tame and peaceable King Log was. In a short time, the younger frogs are using King Log for a diving platform, while the other frogs made him a meeting place where they complained loudly to Jupiter about the government. To teach the frogs a lesson, Jupiter now sent a crane to be the king of Frogland. The crane proved to be a very different sort of king from old King Log. He gobbled up the poor frogs right and left, and they soon saw what fools they had been. In mournful croaks, they begged Jupiter to take away the cruel tyrant before they should all be destroyed. How now, cried Jupiter, are you not content? You have what you'd asked for, and so you have only yourselves to blame for your misfortunes. The moral of the story is, be sure you can better your condition before you seek to change your condition. Focus question one. Why did the frogs want a king? A. The frogs wanted to live in a castle. B. The frogs wanted to be entertained and ruled by royalty. C. The frogs needed something to do. Pause the video if you need more time. Focus question answer. If you chose B, you are correct. Focus question two. Why was it a bad idea for the frogs to complain about King Log? A. The frogs asked for another king that harmed them. B. The frogs would have to push King Log around. C. The frogs were satisfied with King Log. Pause the video if you need more time. Focus question answer. If you chose A, you are correct. Critical thinking. How will you seek to appreciate what you have before you ask for something else? Pause the video if you need more time. Thank you for coming by. And make sure you return to hear more of Dr. Lamoth Reads Aesop's Fables for Your Social Emotional Learning.